Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you around one of the music distributor websites so that you can see one of the resources for choosing music for choirs. There's a bunch of resources out there and this one, jwpepper.com, is one of the more commonly used ones. It's not the end-all site because it tends to cater to the more recently published things, but it does have a lot of uses in terms of looking for specific genres and things like that. So let's take a look. You get to this website by going to jwpepper.com, and there's a link to it here in Google Classroom. And I noticed that it looks a little bit different here on my laptop than it does on my desktop computer, but you'll see something that will guide you to departments. And so I'm going to click on Coral, and then you'll see that they have a couple of different ones. And the ones that I usually look at are school or community and college. And when I was directing my church choir, of course, I'd go here to church music. And then vocal music is for like voice lesson literature and solo literature and stuff like that. So I find that school has all levels. Community and collegiate has um, the more advanced levels. So you can click on one of those. And then that's going to take you to another filter and you can sort it by genre like say you're looking for secular music which means you know um, non-sacred music and you can search on accompanied a cappella pop show tunes and Broadway world music and then things that are newly published okay you can search by voicing and filter it that way. Mixed voices, treble only, like if I'm looking for ladies first, I would go here. Men's choir, under tenor and bass. SAB, like if you're doing a three-part choir or maybe a junior high choir or a unison and two-part. So I'm going to select mixed. and then it gives you some titles. Now let me show you what to look for. If it has this icon right here, that means that there's an audio recording of it. You click on that and that's gonna come up and play for you. This means that you can see the printed music. This video icon means that it's usually showing it being presented like in a reading session or something like that. Those are hit and miss. <laughs> um, and then it tells you what voicings are available. So, for example, if I was looking at this piece for vocal ensemble, I'd make sure that there was an SATB voicing of it. And then I'd take a listen and I can filter it based on if I'm looking for something specific. Like, for example, if I was looking for holiday music, then I'd go here to see if I'm looking for sacred or secular holiday music, holiday pop music, or if I don't necessarily know what I want, I know I just want to look at holiday music, so I can click on that. And that'll bring up a variety of choices, and then you can filter them by um, voicing and by type, or if you want a cappella or accompanied or anything like that. Right now I'm trying to get my screen to go down. You can filter it by grade and difficulty. Say if I want to look at a cappella. So let's click on that and see what comes up. We have a few titles, and you can see that a lot of stuff is available in multiple voicings and things like that. So what I'd like you to do is take some time just to poke around that website for a while and see how to find different voicings and different genres and different musical styles and stuff. And then tomorrow, I'll give you a couple of things to look for. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll discover some pieces that we want to do. All right? 
I'll see you next time.